Hey guys, it's Ruben the Math Person. So I'll be going over question 32 on SO exam P. So pause video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, I'm going to be right. Let's just dive right in. So there's three types of licensed people. Um, um, licensed learners, low risk, moderate risk, and high risk. And they each have a probability of 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.2. Um, so this month they're issuing four new policies. So this is their end. And we're trying to find the probability that these four will contain at least two more high-risk drivers than low-risk drivers. So if there's one low-risk drivers, there should be at least two more high-risk drivers. So that would mean if there is, let's say there's like one um, low-risk driver, that means there has to be two more than one. So that's two plus one, which is just three. And because this already adds up to four, there will be zero medium risk. However, if there is zero risk driver, zero, zero less. <laughs> However, if there is zero low risk drivers, then there could be two high risk drivers. And if there's two, then there's two more medium risk drivers. If there is three high risk, high risk drivers, then there could be one more medium risk driver. And lastly, there could be two more, four. All four are high risk drivers and there are no medium risk drivers. So those are our four choices. And this is actually a trinomial distribution. But if you didn't know that, that's okay too. But if you did, so this is what it looks like. So basically, we can assign X, Y, and Z to be low risk, medium risk, and high risk. So then the, by the definition, our sample size, which is just four factorial, the probability here would be four factorial over X, y, X factorial and Y factorial. So that will be the number of trials. So that will be 3 factorial times 1 factorial times the probability of 0.5 raised to the first power because there's only one low risk times 0.3 wait, times the probability that there is high risk. Or technically, it will be 0.3 raised to the 0 power and 0.2 raised to the 3 power. This one will be 4 factorial over 2 factorial over times 2 factorial there is 0 on low risk there is 2 medium risk and there is also 2 high risk too the third one will go like this where it's 3 factorial times 2 fact 1 factorial and there is 1 medium risk and 2 3 high risk and the last one is out of 4 factorial there is 4 factorial and there's only one higher there's only four high risk so this could be all simplified to let's just add a little squiggly line in there four factor over three factor this is four times 0 0.5 times 0 0.2 to the cube four factor over two factor times two factor that's six times 0 0.3 to the two and 0 0.2 to the two this one is four factorial over three factorial so that's just 4, 2, 0. 0.3 to the 1, and 0. 0.2 to the cube. And lastly, 4 factorial over 4 factorial is just 1. So that would just be 0. 0.2 to the 4. And if you didn't remember this was a trinomial, you can always do this by hand. You can just think to yourself, how many ways can we rearrange 1 low and 3 high? Well, you can get low, high, high. High, low, low. Wait, high, low, high, high 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 low high or high 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 low so you'll eventually get that there's four choices so you'll be able to multiply four of them in the front and because you know that there is one low risk you'll eventually get there it just takes a little bit longer <laughs> you'll eventually get there though i believe in you so i would just add all those all of those number up and this is equal to 0 0.049 which is our answer d if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!